एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फिक्स द सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड अल्ट्रा बैटरी ड्रेन इशू ओके सो टू फिक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सिंपल फॉलो दिस स्टेप्स सो द स्टेप वन इज टू चेक बैटरी यूज स्टेच सो आइडेंटिफाई एप्स टू प्रोसेस ड्रेन द बैटरी सो यू कैन सिंपल गो टू योर सेटिंग्स देन आफ्टर गो टू बैटरी सो वेयर इज माई बैटरी सेटिंग्स हेयर इट इज देन क्लिक ऑन बैटरी यूसेज so where is the battery usage yes bed sorry this is background so once you here scroll down here you will find your battery usage stats this is at today stats since last charge you can also check and then here you will find the app stand out okay using the 20% with minimum screen time so first tap it and uninstall it okay the step 2 is to enable adaptive battery so let the phone optimize power based on your habit so you can here in the battery settings you can simple tap on the battery protection and then turn its feature on and then set it to maximum where it can maximum your battery to charge at 80% okay the step 3 is to lower display settings so reduce screen power consumption and common culprit on the S25 Ultra is the 6.9 inches QHD plus AMOLED display okay so go to your settings then go to display settings then here click on the screen resolution and then set it to FHD plus okay from QHD plus turn brightness to manually to lower power auto brightness level okay and disable always on display to set it to tap to slow so go back then go back and then go to lock screen and aod and then turn off the always on display feature okay the step 4 is to optimize the background app restrict unused app from running in the background so again go to your battery settings click on background usage limit okay and then put unused app to sleep turn this feature off okay so apps like social media or games can silently drain battery even when not in use so you can simple turn put unused app to sleep okay and the final step is to check for software update okay because a outdated version can also cause some software glitches problem so in settings go to your software update click on download and install and make sure that you are running in the latest software version like me okay so these are the steps that can help you to fix this problem goodbye